How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. Back for yet another review. A little bit of uh, Chicago Hop Jams coming at you with a little bit of a uh, hopper for the world. It's their Galaxy Bowl, which is a, uh, a Galaxy Hopped Double India Pale Ale. 8%. Yeah. Uh, hop Butcher, man. Cool dudes. They make just fun beers. Uh, not every single beer I've had from them has blown me away, but when it, they do kind of blow me away, they blow me to an extra level. Um, so hopefully uh, this one shows and proves. They actually sent me this. They sent me off a four different beers, and thank you very much, dudes. And uh, I'm going to be actually interviewing. By the time this airs, I probably did interview them for my podcast. I don't know if it'll be up. Um, but it should be up relatively shortly, so go check it out. Beer Massive. Um, be interviewing them, doing a phone interview because I can't get out to Chicago um, and see what those guys are all about because they seem like super cool dudes. Not just because they send me beer, just kind of funny and shit. And everything about it, just the way they do, the beers they make, the stuff they do because the beers are quite unique and the art is killer on almost all their labels. Uh, as far as what it says on here, it says uh, Galaxy Bowl, uh, Galaxy Hopped India Pale Ale, 8%. Alcohol by volume. On the back here, they have tasting notes of peach, pineapple, and passion fruit. That be that. Label wise, it's awesome. I um, mean, actually, go and if you go to their Instagram, they'll tell you who the artist is. They kind of do a bunch of cool little labels on there. It's just a robot with a bowling ball, but it's drawn in a way that's pretty cool. So, anyway, let's give this a pour, see what she's got. As you can see, um, we're in the new digs. I am moving. This is the week I actually move. Um, I will be moving in pretty much seven exact days. I got a lot of stuff down here already. I'm not moved in completely, but right now I'm just kind of sitting in this little breakfast nook thing for the for the kitchen, and I'll set up my uh, studio and get back with all those bottles and shit behind me. So anyway, uh, I actually like the way this is. It's more simple, and it's just me kind of talking, so I dig it. Anyway, um, two fingers, nice creaminess to it. Pretty like creepily uniform bubbles from bottom to top it's like uber small medium to kind of medium large bubbles and guess what she'd be hazy she got that haze baby so yeah she looks like a big hazy new england influenced kind of ipa see if we get a nose on her oh man that's filthy that's filth florn 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 filth oh yeah so good man i love that ranky fucking disgusting borderline rotten onion tomato stock it's not even weed it's not even smoking weed it's not pulling weed it's just just really just filthy tomato stock with some kind of rank onion floating around it oh yeah that does me in um not really getting much sweetness off like actually not getting a ton of like overt kind of popping bitterness it's more that kind of just dense thick that's when i say it's filthy it's like it's like you know there's different kinds of filth there's being covered in like i don't know so we covered in just i don't know dirt but then there's be covered in like grease and mud kind of filth and that's what this is this is like a hefty muddy greasy kind of filthy hoppiness does it make sense it makes sense to me <sighs> yeah that's just yeah, that's just, like, gutter. You know what I mean? Like, just, like, filthy. If you like music, like, it's, like, you know, like, I grew up in electronic music doing, like, weird underground techno stuff where we break into warehouses and, like, throw parties and then police would show up and we'd run and shit. And it did that stuff. Not that EDM bullshit that everybody's into nowadays. And and you can relate to it. If depending, on, It doesn't matter what kind of music you're into, whether you're into jazz or you're into rock or you're into rap or whatever. They're just, like, really kind of clean kind of, you know, like, really snappy fucking, like, technically beautiful music, but sometimes there's just this guttural fucking just filthy, just mean mugging shit, you know what I mean? This is a mean mugging beer. <sighs> I'm gonna drink it. Cheers. Yeah, this beer's gonna hit you in the face with a pair of brass knuckles. It's just... It's mean mug and beer. I'm just going to keep saying mean mug and beer for about three or four minutes and then the review will be over. It has a nice fruitiness to it, actually. When you get in there, there's like um, an orangina thing going on. A little bit. It's not necessarily like fresh orange. It's not like necessarily super synthetic orange. It's kind of like a little bit of kind of a candied orange, but not in a super sweet kind of way. 
Um, you get a little bit of those kind of peach vibes too, a little bit of tropical root vibes, but to me it's kind of like a candy, kind of sweet and kind of more kind of uh, exotic kind of orangey kind of thing. Um, it, it's got a nice mouthfeel to it. That filthy dirtiness in the nose is definitely there in the taste, but it's not as it's not as big as the nose. But since that kind of orangina thing kind of pops up for me, um, it ends up being like uh, not as big, but still there. Um, yeah, it, it's kind of you know, it's Chicago. You know, it's Walter Payton. I've said this before, so it's not a unique thing, but it's Walter Payton. You know, it has some beautiful grace to it. You know, it has a bit of kind of can dance around you, but if it wants to lower its shoulder, it could fucking run you to fuck over. And there's only a couple of people that ever did that in sports. And, and the best to ever do it was Walter, Walter Payton. So this is that kind of beer. It has that kind of nice kind of delicate like I said, precision-like thing when it comes to the music. I wasn't referencing that when I talked about it originally, but it has that kind of technical ability, but at the same time, it just has some a mead mugging, gonna run you over quality in it. It's kind of fucking fun. Yeah, tasty. Like I said, give us kind of orange vibes, um, that orangina vibes, I should say, on top of that kind of uh, tomato sake onion thing. Nice mouthfeel to it. A little bit yeasty, a little bit dry, but I kind of dig that stuff, so it might turn some people off, but, man, I'm cool with it. And, uh, yeah, just vibrance and density. Density, that's the word I'm looking for. There's a density to it that's pretty cool. I dig it. So, yeah, let's cut to the chase. Is it one of the better double IPs I've had as of late? Definitely in the conversation. I don't know if it's the best. There's some that have turned me on uh, more than this one, but yeah, it's fun as hell. What are you going to do? Um, uh, let's see. Value and availability? No idea. I'm lucky enough these dudes are crazy enough to think I make sense and send me some beer. So that's pretty cool. Somebody out there in Chi-Town, maybe Beers in the Burbs on Instagram. He sent me beer before. He's actually the person that introduced me to the Hot Butcher. Uh, maybe he can chime in or somebody else. It's Beers in the Burbs with a Z on Instagram. Go check him out. Cool dude. And uh, yeah. Other than that, if you like what we like this, if you like Walter Payton running you over or, you know, throwing down guttural, weird, noisy techno at 4 a.m. in a mean mugging kind of way. Uh, if you like your hops to come off bitter, but not too striking bitter, but you like a little bit of fruit in there, but you like everything to be a bit more muddled, a bit more robust, a bit more dense. Like I said, the name of the game, the uh, secret word of the day is density and has this density to it. It's nice. I'm trying to think of a beer it reminds me of, but I can't really think of it. But it has this kind of just gravity to it, and um, and if you like your hot uh, your hot Ford beers to have that kind of density to it, it's worth picking up because it's pretty tasty stuff. So there you go, another review in the books down there. If you want to talk about it, uh, type in massive beers into the Google, and you'll find me doing all kinds of social media stuff outside of YouTube's. Uh, conversely. Massive, not massive, beer massive, M A S S I F. Type that in if you want to see me doing uh, beer podcasting. Uh, or podcasting, not beer, but well, there's beer involved, but burn reviews, roundtables, all that fun stuff in the podcast form. Uh, pretty fun stuff there. Like I said, I'll be interviewing these these guys, so if you want to know more about them, check them out. And there you go. Another review down. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully, enjoying a nice mean mug and beer right now. And hopefully, see you next time. Cheers.